A three-year-old Broken Arrow girl is dead and her parents are now in custody. Police say Faith Seaman was rushed to the hospital last week where she died. Two Works Views' Christy Maria explains what happened inside the home that led to these arrests. The call came in for an unresponsive child, but after that child died, what doctors found led to red flags and an investigation. Faith Seaman died on November 6th. Her parents said she was healthy, but the medical examiner found broken ribs, deep bruising, and internal damage to organs, all happening within 24 hours before she died. According to court documents, they both admitted to beating the child and not getting her medical help. Kelsey Seaman charged with first-degree murder and child abuse. Her husband, Glenn, charged with child neglect and enabling child abuse. Kids are pretty durable. I mean, they, re they really are. Uh, they heal quickly. Uh, they can succumb to a lot of damage. So when uh, a, a young child like that dies and, and there's no explanation of, of why the baby died, uh, we're always going to be in tune to that. The couple had two other children, one of them a foster child. Police say it's early in the investigation, but right now they don't think there's reason to believe the other kids received the same punishment. The two other children were taken into custody by DHS. There's no word yet on where they'll end up permanently staying in Broken Arrow. Chris DiMaria, Two Works for You.